Hey everybody, I uh, got a new lock today. It's uh, from Amazon and it's a Daiseku or Daiseku uh, four digit combination lock. That's the package it came in. Heavy duty, they say. Oh, yeah, heavy duty. It's a pretty blue combination lock. Uh, Daiseku, Daiseku comes with a note telling you that the combination is 000 and the uh, lifetime warranty card, which is pretty much worthless. Uh, comes with instructions on how to change the combination to any four digit combination you want. And uh, also has more information on the worthless warranty. So, that said, let's see how difficult it is to open. This, as you can see, the combination is set to 0000. zero, zero, zero and it opens right up. Change the combination to anything other than 0000. zero, zero, zero. And it's nice locked, nice and tight. So, how tough is it to open up a locked Daiseku lock? Let's find out. Oh. Wrapping it open with the hammer absolutely works. As you can see. So that's one way. Uh, you'll see this is designed like a Master 175, very similar features. Uh, nowhere close to the tolerances that a good Master Lock has, though. Um, actually, not too far off in price. This was $12, which was certainly not worth it. Um, I'm going to attack this with the typical Master 175 uh, bypass, which is to just go in beside the dial. and get underneath the locking lever. You can see I'm in. The uh, tool is spring-loaded as soon as I push that down. Lifts the locking lever and the lock opens. Locked. Unlocked. Just that simple. You can also use this tool to go in the top of the, the wheels and pull back on the locking lever and it pops right open as well. So, um, not at all difficult to open this Daiseku lock. If you want to do it the slow way with the combination, go right ahead. Um, basically, this thing's junk. Do not waste your money. And uh, pretty much all I have for you today, guys. Have a good one.